Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, haven't done a video in a while. Just wanted to go over the Can-Am and what I've put in this since I bought it. It's the 2018 and it has about 3,500 miles. Um, in 3,500 miles, I have done not much to this other than put on new tires, put new brakes on it all the way around and put a new belt on it. Uh, the second belt's about ready to go, so I'll switch that here. But uh, other than that, guys, I've had really good luck with this. Um, I had a razor before this. Did not have this good luck with the razor. So been real happy with the Can-Am. And I have rode this pretty hard. Not not a lot, real, real hard. I don't do a lot of woods riding. Um, but other than that, guys, I've jumped it, you know, five, ten feet up in the air. I've done stupid freaking things with it, hill climbed it, ran it through creeks and mud and everything else, took it to Colorado, um, Wisconsin, all over. So let's just go over what I've done to this, what I mainly uh, put on it, and we'll go from there. Um, first off, snow blade from uh, Can-Am. Love the snow blade, straight tubed, played in the front. Plate sits underneath real nice to where I don't have to take that off all year. I've been in the rocks and all kinds of shit, and that plate has not gotten damaged. So I really like that. Um, can take this off in about 15 seconds if I got the winch uh, controller in my hand, and off I go. Um, I can hook it back up in about 15 seconds. Doesn't take any lifting or anything. You just hook the rope underneath there, brings itself in, and clips in. It's awesome. Um, got that clip. Connected to a Warren 4,000 uh, 4, um, pound winch with a wireless remote. Has a wireless remote. I can sit out here over 50 feet away and still run that winch. BRP bumper would not have went that route. Don't get anything from Can-Am if you don't have to. Um, don't really care for that bumper. If I would hit something with that, it would probably crumple up in no time. Um, front camera up here, and I'll show you up front. These are from Summit View. Mainly have that to uh, look over my snowplow when I'm snowplowing. Um, and maybe if I got some rocks up front that I need to see, I can see down down low to where I can't see in the cab. Um, Rigid Industry pod lights. It's the only thing I have from Rigid Industry other than on my truck. My truck has a bunch of Rigid Industry stuff, but these light pods kick at a thousand looms. <clears throat> and they were $60 a piece. Really liked them. RC uh, light pods kick out 4,000 looms. They were about uh, $160, I believe, for the set. Did not break the bank. That's what I wanted. Good lights. Um, keeping on the lights, light bar from Amazon, $135. Best buy for the money I have bought. I can get 10 of these things for what I could buy a, a good light bar for. Tinted it myself. You get these brackets off Amazon also. Don't know how many looms it kicks out, but it is fucking bright. Um, rolled it over on top of that. Didn't hurt it one bit. And if I did, I'm out $130. Big whoopee do. So, awesome. Um, up front, MTR or M, yeah, MRT tires, four ply uh, Kevlar line tires. I've had these for about 2,000 miles do not have one puncture in these tires and I have not been easy on them. Corn fields, bean fields, rocks, name it. They've been in there and they've held up awesomely. If you want more information on those, let me know. Run stock rims, just uh, painted the ring. The only thing is guys, when you run stock rims on an XDX, you are gonna have to get wheel spacers in the back because the offset's different. So went with one and a half inch wheel spacers. You can go two inch wheel spacers if you want also. If you do not do that, your rear end will be four inches narrower in the rear. So keep that in mind. Another thing I did all around this, shock therapy springs. Guys, very first mod you ever put on this thing, other than maybe lower doors and a roof. Shocks. Those shocks from shock therapy, just get the springs. That's all you need unless you're a professional racer. Get the springs. You will be blown away. So much safer, so much better ride. Just you guys will absolutely love it. Um, also in the front here, I got rock lights. I'll turn those on for you so you can see them here in a little bit. Um, got to bent metal windshield. Um, you can take this windshield off with these four straps in about five minutes. Unhook the windshield wiper cable and you are good. It's not a cable, but power. And you're done. 
you can take this on and off. Recommend taking this off when it's about 70 degrees or more, or you're gonna sweat your balls off. Opening these vents, guys, doesn't help. Wouldn't even get them. Spend the extra money to get them. You don't really need them. Don't do much other than bring in some dust. Um, went with the windshield. Over here is my windshield wiper. Again, from Amazon, $60. Hose connects here, positive and negative to a switch, and you have half a gallon of reservoir to juice your windshield. Put the juicers down below. Um, they work a lot better. Had them up above for a while. Don't work worth the shit. So got them down below there. Works amazing. Love it. Um, you can see by the dirty windshield of where the windshield covers. That is all you're going to get. Uh, passenger kind of gets a little fucked when it comes to a clean windshield. Driver, not too bad. Um, let's keep on going here. Mud, mud flares. Um, definitely front mud flares from Can-Am not too shabby they do their job rear ones on the other hand guys if you do any kind of woods riding you will rip them off um, they rip off from these bolts and it will happen you'll go around a corner can't make the corner and you'll rub snag those things and rip them right off so beware if you do any kind of woods riding i don't do a lot of it mostly trail riding so there it is um lone star these are also from can am wouldn't go with them wasn't happy with them. I mean, I'm happy with them. They've done their job. They've taken their bashes, but I would have got something that came back farther and cut in in the rear of the wheel there. Um, DMX Performance, love these guys. They are not uh, now out of Texas. They are not out of Mexico anymore. They're out of Texas. Love these windshields or windows. They open with the door. Can take them on and off in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, really, Nothing's failed on them. You roll these windows up in the summertime, clip them back there. Um, just wash them good when you're done and put a little WD-40 on these zippers and you won't have a problem with them. 300, 350 bucks. They also make netted ones, solid windshield ones. Check them out, DMX Performance. Uh, bottom doors, they're a must, guys. They're a must. Anybody that's had a side-by-side -side knows they're a must. Um, roof, would have loved a flat one. Went with the Can-Am when I bought it. Um, been a great window, or a good roof. The only thing is, guys, these keyways here, they go to shit, so we zip tie them. Um, clip the zip ties when you need to get underneath of it and be done with it. Uh, mud flaps, put on mud flaps, made those for $35. Guys, all it is is a piece of steel with a mud flap, connect them in somewhere, you're good to go. Um, everything's stock back here pretty much other than the engine is tuned and I have a blow off valve uh, from Evo Evolution ended up getting them from the side by side blog guys um, great guys know a lot of shit so went with them um, everything else is stock I have not broken axle I have not had any problems back here whatsoever other than brand new rear brakes had a Can-Am rear bumper the wife hit a tree at about 5 miles an hour destroyed the bumper so again dmx performance out of texas great bumpers got a place to put your winch got a place to put your uh hitch and then also got a big old clevis here you get a bigger plate bigger tubing connects into the frame up top love it looks awesome um rear camera can't see shit through all that crap so rear camera was a must again summit view um can-am box back here it's the biggest one i could go and not get in the way of this would have loved to go bigger would love somebody to make a great big one that comes back here and everything that's waterproof but it's what i had to go with tusk makes this i think i got it from rocky mountain M atv Love this, put in my camping gear, put my fuel back there. I carry these fuel cans, can carry two of them and two of them back here. And that's what I use when I go camping and stuff. I'll put up a picture here if I can find one of what it looks like. <coughs> Load it up. s &B particle filter. Guys, no maintenance, nothing whatsoever. Hook in your hoses, put on your helmets, enjoy fresh air all day. That thing is freaking awesome. I can ride behind 10, 15 side-by-sides down a gravel road clean. Um, I think that's about it back here. I will turn on the rock light so you can see that. Here, 
here are my rock lights got two up front one up front just for show and then in the rear here guys i got two more just run these mainly for safety when you're going down the trail people can see you just be careful with the cops if you have blue ones like i do cops can get kind of pissed off that you're running blue but uh i run them for safety also if i need the work back here change a belt or something um i got some light and i also can see you know side to side at night time see if there's any obstacles or anything really like them um got my seat out in here but i'll show you guys got the seat out put in a odyssey 1200 battery a little bit bigger than stock that's where my windshield wiper used to go and uh so i'm gonna have to think of something different um got it still out because i was thinking about putting a heater in here but i'm not for sure another thing right there's my switch for my interior lights and then i also have a light back and back i don't think you guys can see it but have a light back and back so i can see if i'm fumbling with shit um got some five point harness seats or uh seat belts guys that's a must be safe go with the four or five point harness seats um netted back in the back here that's also from can-am just keeps the dust out a little bit from circulating in um, keeps the sun off my neck and really guys putting on a glass windshield or whatever back there really don't make a big difference um, got my sub back in here from rockford fosgate we run a stage four rockford fosgate got the head unit down here two speakers in the front and then the two in the back that you've seen um, interior lights s b particle filter button right here turn that on s b it's a little loud but once the engine's on you don't notice it rugged radio 660 intercom system with a headset <coughs> guys absolutely love this thing love it i can't say anything bad about them i know a lot of people don't like them not so much in the race world but in some other worlds the radio world people don't like them well they can suck a dick because those things are fucking awesome um, put those on drowns out all the noise it's kind of like noise cancellation you can sit here and just talk just like i am now to your wife or your friend next to you just perfectly turn on some music there's you can bluetooth your music into it you can plug in directly you can put your cell phone into it you can answer phone calls on it it's just a great great thing um, do not go with cena go with rugged radio it's so much better um i got this used for 600 bucks um you can uh two headsets in the radio did not go with the cb um just really not needed around here a lot of people don't have rugged radios so wasn't going to spend the money if nobody else had them to where i could talk from car to car um another thing i got going on up here i carry my spare belt up here and this is also my screen for my summit view uh front and rear camera i can switch in between all of them i've showed you guys that in another rate uh video uh rock lights right here up and down for my winch um you uh usb underneath here for your phones if you want to plug in or a friend has something um this also shows my voltage four-wheel drive of course got uh plug my phone in plug my tablet in for power um that all runs off the radio uh you got a lot of guys have seen this or have this this is awesome that's where i put my gps i think those are like 90 dollars from can-am windshield wiper fluid windshield wiper got uh low and high over here that is the uh, light bar up front. As you can see, the lights are on in here and that thing is freaking bright. Um, other than that, guys, I do have this tuned from Evo Evolution at 200 horsepower. Never had a problem with it. Have a cat delete that I did my absolute self running stock exhaust. Never had a problem with it. Never shot a code in any way, shape or form. This thing runs phenomenal. I'm very happy with Can-Am. I'm very happy with my purchase with 3,500 miles on this um would i want a 2020 hell yes i'd love 2020 but i'm not ready to buy another almost thirty thousand dollar machine and put another guys i'd hate to know but i bet i have another 10 grand in this machine if not a little bit more so not gonna do it gonna run this till the damn wheels fall off i know people with 10,000 15,000 miles on these things so 
Um, other than that, guys, I've put sound dampening material all the way around this on the doors in the rear. Did make a little bit of a difference. I got a video on that also. Paid $50 for that sound dampening. Um, most of your noise comes back from the back here from the clutches. Um, it's just something Can-Am is notorious for. I would have thought they would have fixed it by now, but they haven't. It's the only down flaw that I see in Can-Am. They're fucking loud compared to my Razor. Um, I would not have bought a Rockford Fosgate with a, uh, with a Razor just because you don't need it. You can get away with a, a nice little sound bar in the back. In this thing, you need something loud if you're going to hear it. That's why I've kind of went with these. Um, I put these on even when I'm listening to the Rockford. Kind of drowns out the motor noise and just lets the music in from the radio, if that makes sense. Don't know how, but it's kind of like wearing earplugs where you don't hear the grinder as much, but you can still hear the music from the radio at work. It's kind of how it works. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything I've done to this, where I've gotten it, how much it was, go ahead and ask me. Um, I'll help you out. I also do have a really good guy that I've been uh, connected with that he can get me Rockford Fosgate radios pretty cheap. Um, on a stage five radio, you're probably going to save about a thousand bucks. No shit. Um, I think a stage four with a sub and the head unit, everything, wiring harness, everything. I want to say like $1,400, guys. Check on Rockford Fosgate, see what they go for MSRP. Guarantee it's a lot more than that. Um, other than that, guys, like I said, ask me any questions you need. Love talking to you. Love hearing from you. Love getting comments from you. Go ahead and share, like, subscribe. We're up to like 700 subscribers in the next in the last two years. Cool. Don't really care if you do subscribe. I just do this for fun, guys. Um, help people out. Get them the information. If you guys are thinking about buying one of these, this is what I've put on it. So have a good one.